this oversized, pouched predator had a bite as strong as an African lion and was the largest carnivorous mammal Australia has ever seen. While it has no living relatives, this creature may have descended from the family of herbivores that gave rise to wombats and koalas. This is the marsupial lion, the thylacoleo. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufo, and you're watching Paleologic. One of the fellest and most destructive of predatory beasts is how biologist Sir Richard Owen described the thylacoleo. Before we continue, let me introduce you to our sponsor for this episode, Lomi. Lomi is a revolutionary kitchen appliance from the incredible team at Pila that turns your food waste into nutrient-rich dirt. The team here at Paleologic is all about creating positive change, especially when it comes to the environment. And Lomi does just that. You just put your food scraps into Lomi, push the button, wait a few hours, and like magic, you have dirt that can be used in your plant pods or garden. While other composters dehydrate your food waste, Lomi decomposes it and creates microbe-dense dirt. By using Lomi twice a week, you can reduce your waste footprint by 50%. Plus, it eliminates any odors produced by the composting process. It's a low energy appliance that's easy to use, and it looks great in the kitchen. Check out Lomi at links.pila.earth slash animalogic slash Lomi, or click on the link in the description below to join us on our mission to make garbage optional. This formidable predator was the size of a jaguar, but was built like a bear. Definitely not the fuzzy, cute image that comes to mind when you think about marsupials. The largest marsupial carnivores alive today are the Tasmanian devils and the tiger quolls. These guys, these are our leopards or our wolves here. These are, I mean, they're not huge, but they Ooh. make up for that with um, their, their aggression. So we'll see okay. how it goes. The largest of these weighs at most 8 kilograms, which is only a 20th of what the marsupial lion weighed. Thylacoleo carnifex is definitely the most terrifying marsupial ever discovered. Its jaw was incredibly powerful, capable of chomping down with the strength of a large male lion. But that is where the similarities between the mouths of African lions and marsupial lions ends. Thylacoleo had a completely unique set of pearly whites, whose function is still not fully understood. Unlike cat species, marsupial lions lacked large canine teeth. Instead, their two front teeth were enormous, making them look like giant rodents. But their most dangerous teeth were actually their third premolars along the sides of their mouths. These teeth were able to slice into flesh, acting like the marsupial equivalent of bolt cutters. In addition to their teeth, Thylacoleo had enormous claws for ripping apart their prey and were able to sit back on their haunches with the support of their strong tails like a kangaroo. The marsupial lion belonged to Thylacoleonidae, a family of extinct carnivorous marsupials. The span of time that these species existed was vast. We've found fossil evidence of various species from the Oligocene era, beginning about 34 million years ago, to the Pleistocene era, which ended about 12,000 years ago. So far, four genera and ten different species of marsupial lions have been identified. Members of the Thylacoleonidae family ranged from the house cat sized Lacanoleo genus to the lion sized Thylacoleo. Despite their solid place in Australia's history, fossil evidence suggests that not more than two species of this family ever existed at the same time. Thylacoleo carnifex is by far the most famous of the group. And luckily, there are plenty of fossils all over Australia to teach us about these unique and unusual animals. In 2002, a massive discovery of marsupial lion fossils was made in a cave in Null Arbor Plain in southern Australia. One complete and 12 incomplete skeletons were found, changing the game in terms of our understanding of these creatures. It is thought that they unwittingly fell into the caves while either hunting or were perhaps drawn by the scent of potential food. 
While most carnivores evolved from other carnivores, paleontologists believe that thylacoleonids descended from one of two groups of herbivores, the wombat and koala suborder, or the possum family. Despite the lion in their name, the physiology of the feet of the marsupial lion suggests that its greatest strength was not sprinting like a hunting lioness. In fact, their feet barely seem like they were evolved to run at all. This gave rise to the theory that Thylacoleo was a drop cat. Drop cats are not to be confused with drop bears, an imaginary, <laughs> I mean, totally real creature that Australians tell stories about to scare tourists. The best explanation for their feet structure is that Thylacoleo would wait in a tree for its prey to wander underneath and drop down on top of them, similar to what leopards and arboreal felines sometimes do. One study suggests that thylacoleonids were arboreal and scansorial, meaning they were tree dwellers with a knack for climbing. Massive opposable thumb-like claws helped them not only attack their prey, but also to expertly mount trees. With their size and strength, it's no question that thylacoleo was the greatest mammalian predator that ever lived in Australia. Marsupial lions lived in Australia until their extinction, around 50,000 years ago. They belong to an assemblage of land animals weighing more than 45 kilograms, known as the megafauna, jumbo-sized creatures that roamed the continent during the last ice age. So what happened to the marsupial lion 50,000 years ago? We don't have to look much beyond ourselves to answer that question. It was around this time that humans arrived in Australia. One theory suggests that these new residents were looking to protect themselves and killed off this dangerous predator. Others hint that the marsupial lion's food supply was cut off by humans overhunting their prey. Fire and our ability to control it to shape landscapes may have also contributed to habitat loss, which led to their extinction. Whatever the cause of their extinction, all we know is that Thylacoleo disappeared along with Australia's other megafauna. While it may be gone, its fossil evidence remains to remind us that Australia had and continues to be home to some of the world's most amazing creatures. So what should we talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching. See ya.